Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Here I'm gonna be replacing an ignition switch in this 2008 Chevy Silverado work truck. If you need this part or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1aauto.com. Right, I'm gonna disconnect the battery. This vehicle, there is a bracket missing here. Normally there would be a bracket here with two, well, four 13 millimeter bolts. You would take those out to access the negative battery cable. I'm just going to use a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen up the cable. You can probably do it without taking that bracket off, but it just make it easier to take the bracket off. Loosen this up and wiggle it back and forth and set it aside. I'm going to remove this cover right here. Just grab under here with your hand, pull up, slides right out. All right, next I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter socket, extension and a ratchet. I'm gonna remove a bolt that's underneath this um, parking brake release lever right here. Now I'm gonna take this release handle and slide it towards the front of the vehicle and then slip it out. There's these clips that hold it in. Next, I'm gonna remove two screws. There's one right here. There's also one over here, this vehicle, it's missing. It's just a Phillips head screw. Take that out. Okay, right, now I'm gonna just grab this panel and pull it straight forward. There's clips on the back side, right here, right here, and right here. Next, I'm gonna grab this handle for the steering wheel adjustment, and I'm just gonna pull it straight outwards. Just like that, pull it off. This generally is very hard to get off. If you have to, just try to get a little screwdriver and pry it out, but you really gotta force it out. Now I'm gonna grab this panel and pull it down. Um, sometimes there is screws that hold this lower um, steering column cover on, but this vehicle doesn't have screws, so just grab it, pull it straight down, just like that. Now I wanna take the upper cover off. I'm just gonna adjust the steering wheel down, just push back on that adjuster, and then grab the cover, and just slide it right up, just like that. Now we're gonna take the key, and I'm gonna take a straight pick, put the key in the ignition, Turn it to the start position. It's important that you have the battery disconnected for this, otherwise your vehicle will be starting right now. So then I'm gonna push down. There's a little pinhole right there. When you push that down, that releases the lock cylinder. And you can slide it right out, and set it aside. All right, now I'm gonna disconnect this connector for the anti-theft control module. Just push this little tab down here and grab the connector, wiggle it out. Then on the back side here, I'm just gonna take a pick and there's a little tab on the back. I'm just gonna release that. This is where the tab is. I just released that. There's another clip on the other side. Slide the anti-theft control module right out. All right, now we're gonna remove this connector right here. Um, it's a little bit tricky to see. I'm just gonna take a pick and then I'm gonna twist it and then lift it out. This is what lets your vehicle know the key is in the ignition. There's a little tab right here. You just push on that tab and you twist it and pull it out. Now we wanna disconnect the connector for the ignition switch. It's a little red. You gotta pull it out about a quarter of an inch. Then I'm gonna push on the button for the connector, push down there and then slide the connector right up. See that's that little lock, lock tab? So you gotta pull that out. All right, now before we remove the ignition switch itself, we need to reinstall the lock cylinder because the gears, we want the gears timed properly. So, install the lock cylinder again. 
And because the lock cylinder is in the on position, we want to rotate it to the off position and then to accessory all the way to the left. And we're going to grab the ignition switch and we're going to push this, these two little squares right here. We're going to push these little lock tabs. They do make a special tool that you can do this together. But if you just do one at a time, it will work. And then slide it out. And then the gear is in the proper position. Here's the old ignition switch. Here's the new ignition switch from 1Auto.com. As you can see, the shape is the same. It has this same wire with this same button on it. The connector is the same. And the gear is the same on the top. Get yours at 1Auto.com and you'll be ready to rock and roll. Make sure it's lined up. And that's good. So we'll take the new one install the new one. Slide this in position, lock it in place. At this point, I can take the ignition cylinder out again, rotate it to the start position, and then push my pick in and remove the cylinder. Now we're going to plug the ignition switch in. Just take the connector, line it up, push it on. You're going to want to lock it in place and then push down on that red lock tab. And then we'll take this wire and we're going to slide this in. There's a little hole up top here and then we're just going to twist it just like that and it'll lock in place. Now we'll take the theft control module and just slide it back on just like that. Take the connector line it up, lock it in place. Now we're gonna take the ignition cylinder. There is a little tab right here that you have to line up with the slot in the cylinder housing. Line that up, just wiggle it, then you're all set. Now we're gonna install this upper cover, upper column cover. Just like that. Lock that down. Now we're gonna adjust the column up. Take the lower cover. Just line this up. These little tabs, you're gonna wanna line those tabs up with the upper cover and lock it in place. All right, to reinstall this steering wheel column adjustment lever, just line this tab up and just lock it in place. Right now we're gonna install this cover. Just line it up. Lock it in place. And then next we're gonna install this screw, this Phillips head screwdriver. And if your vehicle had another one, you're gonna install it over here as well. But this vehicle doesn't have it. Snug that up. Next we'll install this parking brake cable release. Slide that over there and then take the 10 millimeter bolt, get this started right here. Now we'll install the side cover, just line those clips up. Lock it in place. Now I'm going to grab the negative battery cable. Slide this over the terminal on the battery and then take a 10 millimeter wrench and just snug this up. Not too tight, you don't want to break it. Just make sure you grab the terminal, grab the cable and make sure it doesn't twist. That's good. And then if you had that bracket here, you're going to want to reinstall that bracket. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.